I look so bad. Howdy folks. So today we are going to be cleaning my room over like overall it doesn't look like that messy at all. It doesn't. But I mean deep clean because I have stuff I'm going through up here, so I thought, like, nothing to worry about. No concerning. You don't be calling counselor or anything on me. No. I just have stuff I need to work through like a normal person. Basically. <laughs> It'll out. And plus, I, you know, every once in a while you need to deep clean your room. So. Why not? What better day to do it than today? I don't know how to film it better. This corner is filled with blankets. So, if you didn't know, a few weeks ago I actually cleaned out my old room at my dad's house. Guys, so, this is my childhood bedroom. This is what it looks like now. Um, it's kind of full of stuff. Um, that's stuff I'm not using. Um, so, I used to have shelves. And if you look at back at my old room dorms, I had um, a shelf full of my schoolwork. I just went through that. Oh, um, and this is what I'm leaving to get donated. Those are just some of my old ch childhood toys. Like, I got these when I was 13, but like, I got this in fourth grade. I got that like in third grade. So, now. Just going to grab my baptism dress. Pretty sure this is mine. Um, and then there's just clothes, but I never wear them anymore. So I'll go out there. Well, this I'll text my sister. Can't be like anything left in there. Just take it to DI. It makes me kind of sad because I thought I'd stay in this room forever, but my I brother don't... is buying the house. From my dad in September. So this is the last look at it as kind of my room. It was it's usually just used as a guest room. Um, yeah, that's that's it. Let's throw this away because I threw a lot of my stuff away, a lot of my homework away. Oh my gosh, those are my old snow. Or Sydney's. I think I got rid of mine, so those are Sydney's. Okay. Mm. But this stuff needs to go under my bed, which I think needs organized. Because this one keeps sleeping where I have prom posters and they're getting destroyed. So I'm pretty sure I need to do something about that. So that's why I'm reorganizing my closet. So enough with the chit chat, we'll get into it. You will not believe what I found under there. So I found this, which I got a thumb bracelet basically. So when you're driving, it says put distractions down. So like no texting and driving. So I think that's pretty cool. I found bands. Um, granted, I've had my braces off since September. Um, also, this poster that I kept for um any prompts is ruined. Like there's no way. Good thing I got it from the dollar store. But uh, yeah. Because my sister's dog has a it. So, finally found my seventh grade yearbook that I've been looking for. And also, the strings to most of the hoodies that all the strings that have came out of the hoodies. So, I well, three hoodies with black strings that have not been fixed. And so, the bed. As clear as you can see, and now I just have 
garbage, bags, stuff I don't know what to do with, important stuff. Still this corner of things, that, papers, and this junk, like beauty junk and stuff. I'm gonna put that in my bathroom. I don't know. I just need to figure it out. And I need to clean off this space, but I think I'm gonna tackle this now, sort it, and see what I'm gonna put under my bed. And then I might take a break because I need a thinking break. Not like a break from cleaning, but a break from filming it all. So it's more of a transition. Bruh. So I'm just gonna set them right on my nice side. So we're just I have an idea. So I don't think my blankets will be harmed. I'm gonna put it right here because my my sister's dog likes to sleep right in this area, like right here down to there. I'm gonna try to block it off so make sure I won't go under there. But I'm definitely not putting that prom poster under my bed because I know and I've seen it will get damaged oh my goodness good thing I just have you guys on my like vent so we're gonna I think I'm gonna go thin blankets and bigger blankets Stuffed animals can go way back because I don't really sleep with stuffed animals anymore. Really haven't done that forever. Don't want to try it either. So, and I'm going to start grabbing all the bags from my room and putting them in a pile. Because I think that's going to help me understand because I want my bags to be under here my bed because I know that's gonna help with my drawstring bags but I think some of the more important ones I should hang up because like I have my backpack hung up so I think I should also hang um like this drawstring bag I should probably hang up because it's really nice and I might use it for dance practice this and I think it would help a lot because I really like it. So I'm gonna clean this up. Yeah, so I'm just gonna. I don't want any paper on here. So I'm gonna sort that and see where I can put it in my closet. Time up in three, two, one. Okay, so I've gotten all the bags out and this. You look good. Sorry, my sister's going to the fair. Hey, Annika! Oh my gosh, no! I'm gonna have to throw this one away, I think. Ooh. Annika, come in here. I'm doing this one like cat pee. Do you have to throw them away? You can. Yeah, I had to throw mine away. I don't think you can wash them. So I'm gonna throw this away because it's something like cat piss. I just asked mom to it. why I hate cats because I piss on everything this is like really dirty so I need to do this this is an old dance bag I have I kind of use it for sleepovers now in girls camp because I don't think I need a duffel bag for dance because I realize the more stuff I carry in the harder it is to weave and like keep track of your stuff so I was like, uh, I'm just gonna bring Ow. a little bag. I think it's easier than having a duffel bag. Like, I don't do that much dance to need a duffel bag. So, I don't think I need this hunk. The duffel bag inside here, but I think I'm gonna put it right by it. So, we're gonna go bedding, stuff animals, which I don't have a lot of, and my cow stuff animal i think is in my mom's room getting currently fixed i feel like there's a lot more talking in this yeah see my cows over there getting repaired so 
I'll just have to make some room for him. But yeah, let's. And then that box and nightstand. So. laying on my bed because I still don't know what to do with all the piles on my floor like I was like oh I need to clean that and then I'll understand what to do with all that no well it just came to the realization oh I found socks in that duffel bag so that needs to go up there and it scored and it stayed okay so it just came to my realization that I should have vacuumed under my bed before I put all this fetching stuff up here. And I have to hurry and do this because it is 3 p.m. And my mom is probably going to come home soon. And I can't really risk that happening. So I need to make it to where I deep clean. And if I'm not finished, make it look like I just clean my room. So now I have to pull all of this stuff back out and vacuum. Wonder if I can just pull it out all the time, but this wasn't easy to shove under my bed. We probably should go grab the vacuum first, and then after this, it's gonna take so much footage, and I don't have a big iCloud, so I can't risk too much footage. So after the Apple, if the Apple creators are listening, yo, comment yes if. You think the Apple should have switched, made it like Snapchat, so where you can like switch? Cause I can't. Maybe I just need a better phone. Well, we're gonna grab the vacuum, which is pretty nice, pretty handy, cause it has this handle right here. Our old one didn't really. So, thank good. And this is lighter, so. So right now I have the device box and this just goes like old devices and cases. So like I have my iPod 4 and my iPod 5 cases. I still haven't found my iPod 5 but when I do I'll put, be put right there. Um, then I just have like boxes in between. So like that's my iPhone 6 box. And then I have headphones, speakers, chargers, and charging cords on the side. And I'm just going to put that above there and then below i have my memory box so i just put every anything that reminds me of something in there I put so i have lotions there i used to have perfumes in this box over there but now i have my yearbooks from seventh well from seventh eighth up to ninth all my hats like my regular hats and like these type of hats. I'm putting my favorite hat just up there because I need to speak because it's getting destroyed. And I have just random stuff like quotes, um, stu uh, gifts, so like lotions. These are all given to me in bubbles. So that is what I have so far. And then I just have this junk under here. I'm just gonna like move that down the line. I've found a few things I can still use for school, like that seminary book and this lotion. And I have like these fan stands. No, why I do? So then I feel like I'm just gonna fill the rest of here. Also, if you're wondering where I moved my perfumes, I had a drawer for FFA stuff. So this is like my FFA um, uniform and like the rest of my uniform. And there's just my perfumes in this drawer. So I think that works. Oh. I put my laptop charger somewhere. 
my backup one. So I think I'm gonna put it right here next to my hats. Yeah. Okay. Looks like that's done. Why isn't this closing? I wonder if it's it will tic tac. The tic tac's right around here. But I have to wait because I have a case thing that I'm gonna put right here that holds up my cases and quotes I put on my phone case. But I don't have okay, so it. So what right I need now. to do now is I actually need to put all that stuff back in that box because it is going under my bed. But it won't for a while. I'm probably just going to put it right here. So I'm going to have more stuff in this corner. We're just going to work on this now. Because under the bed's done. Like we vacuumed it and organized it. Like I saw that little part of junk. But I'm going to leave that for another time. So I mean there are some stuff that I'm like putting right here. Because I can use for school. And I think I'll working on my closet shortly. And I want to upload this video this year, this week, so it'll be probably like a part one, maybe. So, with that being said, that's done. Bed's pretty much done. So, now we just need to go that and get, go, move on to this part, the top of my dresser slash vanity, because it kind of is both. And then, we'll be done. So, let's get to it. Guys, look how dusty that is. I'm very scared to clean it. Um, the mirror looks really clean. Got that box taken care of. So you do that. So there's gonna be a lot of talking in this video. I don't know if you guys can see, but so this is the dust spray, but I don't want to spray it, so I'm gonna spray the rag. So we're gonna see if this works. Not too what because I don't want to ruin it oh it's working I wonder if I can take this off but okay we're gonna what's this he even wiped down the case so now we move on to putting this back because that's really cute I love it I'm trying to, and I don't want to time lapse this because I'm afraid if I do, I'll run out. I'm going to turn my Scentsy on because I'm trying to melt that down because I don't smell anything. Okay, but this is just jewelry I got from a box. This thing my grandma's. So it's kind of special to me. Like, my mom showed it to us. Any earrings for when I can wear them. Couldn't find any studs of my grandma's that I like, like, not studs, but like non-hanging earrings, whatever they're called. So I got these cute chain ones. They might be messed up, but, and I like, oh, I like these too, because of the gold. I could like see myself, oop, wearing this for like prom night or on a date or I don't know. Something cute. Christmas, Thanksgiving, I don't know. Get dressed up for the holiday. So, and then I have a dress. And then this is just more. I found this in the box, so I'm keeping it because I want to put it on my new backpack. So I'm just putting it there for now. So this is a slapping bracelet. This is like stuff I do wear. It's like this thing, stuff I do wear. Ooh, I should. Okay. I made all of the. Uh, oh, looks like I still have the tag on. Okay, so apparently I can't cut that, but I got that out. This is stuff I don't wear. You guys see that? It's hanging down like that. So my sister this summer decided to move out to my dad's. And there's been a lot of drama involved in that. And just a lot of hard feelings. For me, I think I told you guys about this in my playlist video, but that's how it's been. So she's moving back for the school year, and my mom's actually getting a closet made in her room because her room doesn't have a closet. Ooh. 
so that's what's kind of going down on the agenda. Okay. I think fancy stuff should go on. Oh, I know over here. Um, get my ears pierced for one reason and one reason only, and that's because I'm deathly afraid of needles. And the, yeah, people are going to be like, but that's not a needle. I don't fetch and care if it's not a needle. Still scares me. I'm going to put rubber stuff here. forgetting to end these things okay ready guys thumbnail wait does this look good oh how about this i like that or how about this i don't know but if you enjoyed watching me pick up trash please give this a thumbs up comment music if you've hit this way of the video, this will be on my room playlist, so that will be linked down below. The room tour, the room tour will be linked down below, and last week's video will also be linked down below, as well as my socials, any of the music I use in this video. I would like to say thank you for watching. Please subscribe, because it would mean a lot to me if you joined all my gang, I guess. Join the gang. Also, don't forget to pick, click on the bell. For now, because my schedule will be changing very soon because of school. And with that being said, remember that you are important, okay, guys? That you are valued and you are, your value is beyond what objects of this world, expensive objects of this world could offer. And if you feel alone, don't be. And remember, if... You reject people's help, then you need to ask for your own help. Don't say no one's going to help you if you reject it. Remember that. And remember, there. if you feel alone, just remember you still have God or whoever you believe with on your side. You're not truly alone, even though you feel physically you are. Remember, spiritually, you are not. Okay. Love that I have all you guys to support me.